this is no time for the mingling and the moseying. You must get the spit from the chocolate mousse. Danke, Stranger. Now you can help me with my cotton candy crops. I kid, I kid. Actually, I did not kid. But your friend, she makes a noise like the angry bull. Ugh. Yeah, that is the one. So instead, let us hop and two. Here is the key to the factory. I'm not even supposed to have cotton candy anyway. But if you wanted to help me with it on the, as they say, down low, without Nana knowing I am planting anything but her precious candy corn. Ugh, play on the farm later. Right now, let us find out what Nana's doing with these gummies. Let us actually start with the hothouse. As much as we need to see what is in the factory, I think now we shall start here. Esther said the silo is where the secret ingredient is made. It is then piped into the factory itself. This must be the sourizing agent we're looking for. So let us go in there and see what it is. This place is off limits to valued customers. Please exit through the gift shop. Error! Gift shop not yet constructed. We will have to disable security to find the secret ingredient atop the silo. Thank you. 
Wunderbar. Onward and upward. What in the name of Bubblegum are you doing here? Well, uh, inspection? Oh, well, this is the hothouse, the source of the secret gummy ingredient which is essential to the happiness. Wait, wait, you did not sing the official inspector song. And you noticed. Very well done. Top marks. Uh, uh-huh. I do not think you are the inspectors. I think you are the witches. Get them! Hamster, what is going on here? What is the secret ingredient? I cannot say. And I mean that literally. Nana's Presta Litigation Division cast upon me a spell of non-disclosure. Watch. The secret ingredient is... The secret ingredient is love. <laughs> it is not love. It is actually quite repulsive. But as you can see, I cannot say. Oh, fine. We will just see it for ourselves. Come visit. That pipe to the factory is higher up. Keep going. Hmm, nothing here. That is rather anticlimactic. Hopefully the final floor is more interesting. What is this? This cannot be. It is impossible. But there is nothing else here, so it must be it. The source of the secret ingredient is... <coughs> goblers! They are sweating goblers, then piping that sweat over into the factory and... Ugh! Why? Visit, we need proof of this. Use photomancy to take a picture of these gobblers.
Could you let us out of here? It's just about lunchtime. There is a lever over there. Maybe that will release him. That did it. The gobblers have been dumped down to the lower floor. We must find them. Maybe they know why this is happening. Hello. What were you all doing back there? Waiting for lunch. No, I meant, why were you in the sweat boxes? What do they want from you? Sweat? Now where's my lunch? Do you have it? Give me my lunch! Oh no, the gobblers have gone hangry. Watch out, wizard!
Vernon. Good, that is good. There are probably some sweets outside. Why do we not just go out there so we can talk? I've been speaking with our gobbler friends, and I've learned something. They can sleep standing up, which is utterly unhelpful information. We need to know why Nana is using their sweat to make the gummies. Which means we must now go into the factory itself. The door is round the other side. We can use Esther's key to get in. Okay, we are going to need pictures of everything in here, so the Witz sisters can inspect what is going on. Let us start in this room. Those look like the main gummy jelly vats. You can see where the goblet sweat is piped in. Use Photomancy to get a picture of them. Now, from what I can tell, the assembly line goes like this. After the goblet sweat is mixed in, the blended jelly is then sent from the vats into the bond division to be molded into gummies and stamped with their functionality. Then the completed gummies go to the farmer's house branch for approval, final processing and shipments throughout Caramel. That means the bond division is where we need to go. Let us see how this corrupted syrup is made into gummies and why. Look, a freshly pressed Goomba Jack. It does not seem to be hostile. Is it not sour yet? No, you're not sour at all, are you? You have no idea what sad state of affairs led to your creation. No, you... It bit me!
What was that all about? They just turned sour right on the spot. Is Goblet's wet really that zesty? It was a fresh gummy, so it did not degrade or go bad. It was made bad. Maybe something is a function stamping that gives gummies their jobs. Take a picture of the mold's visit, then we will go find out. I have an idea. It is a weird theory, it makes no sense, and if it is true, it means the sour gumi problem is much darker than we thought. But I think I know what set off the Goomba Jacks. Come this way. Sad! <laughs> Yeah, you see, it is a trigger word. The gummies turn sour when someone says sad. 
Ähm, ups. this means, right, Wizard? It is not negligence or cutting corners that is making the gummies go sour. They were designed to go sour at a specific time when somebody says the right code word. Nana is not making shoddy products. She is making a time-release army of gummies. But how does Goblisvet do that? There is one more room down here. Perhaps it is where all the answers are stored. More gummy molds. But what are these gummies they are making? Why, those are the platinum line of Nana's happiness initiative, the Creme Berets! And now there is a creepy voiced PA guy. Wunderbar. Creepy? I'm so terribly sorry. I did not mean to disturb you so. The last thing I want is to make you sad.
These were tougher even than Vajima golems. Too powerful for simple security. What could they be for? Get a picture of these molds, visit. All of Caramel needs to know about this. We still do not know why Nana's doing this. Perhaps a wretch on the loudspeaker can tell us. Unlikely fools, but come find me if you dare. Then you will learn no one leaves the factory of Wilhelm Vonke alive! Except for his employees, I would hope. Come along, visit. Let us review. We know Nana is using gobbler sweat instead of fairy dust to mix the gummies. Somehow this makes the gummies sour, not sweet. And we know that the sourness is a feature, not a flaw. It seems Nana, likely the Grand Nana, is playing a diabolical game right under our noses. But what is her aim? Why do all this? The farmer's house branch is where these gummy sleeper agents go for approval and final processing. I bet we will find our mysterious Mr. Wonky there. No doubt the factory's boss has the answers we seek. There he is, Wizard. Tell us, Wonky, what are you really doing here? Oh no, I do not think I will be telling you the intricate plan we have devised and unfurled over decades. Good day to you, then! Actually, it is right on that board over there, the one titled The True Happiness Initiative. It says, ramp up treat production, mix secret sour gummies, sell throughout the spiral, destroy all competition. Do not look upon my secret plan, scrum board! That is a hideous invasion of my privacy! And I said, good day!
Crispies. So the happiness initiative to expand Caramel Delights to the spiral was a front for creating an army to destroy all other candy makers. Well, destroy all candy makers so we can spread Caramel Delights to the spiral, yeah? We won't just be the best, we will be the only snack company. I still do not understand how the Gobless Feds fits in. How does that make the gummies sour? Because when gobblers sugar crash, their bodies produce anti-joys. That is why they get so dangerously hangry. Seemed a good fit for our plan. Speaking of which, Wizard, get a photo of the secret plan scrumbled. That should do it. Now let us get out of here. You will not win! You cannot! Soon, Nana will be everywhere! Nana will be everything and sweetness will prevail! We have pictures of the whole process, evidence to show the rest of Caramels as a happiness initiative is a lie. We should return to the Weird Sisters, but first let us attend to our Gobbler friends. Are you calming down? Uh, huh. Sorry about before, it's just we hadn't eaten in a while. Low blood sugar makes Gobblers angry. So I hear. Well, believe it or not, I actually know a place you can go to get help. An acquaintance has a house in the forest. 
It is hard to find, so I am told you have to follow your nose. Hey, is that gobbleberry pie? I love gobbleberry pie. Let's go, everyone! Yeah, I know. I do not smell anything either. Let us just get back to the treehouse. You made it! Are you feeling better? How is Nibelheim faring? Fine now. Anana did show up to force that treacle plant to reopen, but Orson held firm. I wonder why she cares so much about that toxic gunk. Toxic? Of course. Nan is not interested in designer treats. She wanted treacle as a weapon, the ultimate stink bomb for her army of Clamberets. Her what? I will catch you up while the wizard talks to the weird sisters. What you just said makes perfect sense. The anti-joys in Gobbler's Sweat work like Sour Patch Goat Dantroff, turning bland candy corn gummies sour. Even the trigger word fits! Nobody says sad in caramel! At least not until the happiness initiative overworked them! Then they complained! The gummies were activated, rampage, rampage, and also Nana could make a secret army to destroy other candy companies! A tale as old as time, but what to do now? How to stop this? That is beyond science. Strategy is more Samantha's area. Go talk to her. Strategy is not my area, it's Piper's area, and she says we obviously need to expose Nana and end the happiness initiative. Who is Prudence? My familiar is Piper. But first, she says we need to counteract the Gobbler anti-joys, sweeten Nana's army and make it harmless. <laughs> Rosina's a Gobbler expert. I sent some Gobblers her way earlier, but you know she cannot stand the forest and her house moves. How do we find it? Yes, Piper, I know they can follow the breadcrumb trail, but it is invisible. Oh, they would need superior senses or a pet to find it. Wizard, you can help with that, yeah? Let your pet lead the way to Rosina's house and my sister and I will follow. <laughs> <laughs> 